Hi guys, today I have for you another challenge video, because those videos seem to get a lot of views. It'll be nice if this one can as well. So yeah, as of 5.0 for Super Smash Bros Ultimate, the long lost game mode home run contest has made a return. And I was really happy about that, because home run contest I find so fun. I don't know what it is, there's just something about hitting it as far as you can. Uh, it's, just, it's just really cool. And after choosing random with my friend James, we tried to get over 300 kilometers with whoever we were given through random and thus this challenge was born can we get everyone to 300 kilometers in home run contest yes i am aware someone has done a video trying to get everyone at 400 kilometers but one i'm not that good and two only one of his videos have released i'm pretty sure as of me talking right now but i'm going through the whole roster in one video and i'll only be going into small details about some characters that weren't that difficult so let's get started so starting off with mario he was he was pretty easy as far as i remember donkey kong and link weren't that hard either donkey kong was really strong and link's sword was quite powerful so that was good samus and dark samus being echoes had basically the same moves and they were a little bit more tough than the other three but it wasn't too hard yoshi was pretty simple but then comes kirby now kirby was not an easy one for me i spent so many times just using smash attacks tilt attacks trying to see what works and nothing just seemed to do anything. I then went on to find how strong his side B is with his hammer, and I knew that I just needed to base my attacks off that hammer. And the winning setup basically just consists of me whacking it with the hammer. Fox and Pikachu were pretty easy, and with Luigi I tried to use the up B a lot, I don't know, I just felt like I needed to do that because that's the only way you can play Luigi. If you play Luigi and don't up B, who are, like, who are you? Seriously. Ness is literally so easy, all you have to do is spam PK fires and then just hit it with the bat, so no problem there. Captain Falcon to Peach was easy. And I don't know about you, but I've seen how overpowered Daisy is in Home Run Contest. However, I'm not gonna be doing that strat with the, the Stitch Turnip. I'm just not that good at all. There's no way I, I would ever be able to do that. But I still managed to get 300 pretty easily. Bowser was fine, because he's a heavy hitter. Ice Climbers was pretty interesting, because as I'd go to swing the bat, Nana, I, I, I think it's the pink one. Would always end up smacking it with her hammer as I go to swing the bat, and that you just kind of had to work around that. Sheikah had a little bit of trouble with, but in the end, it didn't take too long. Same with Zelda, it just took a lot of trial and error with her, testing different setups, and it all worked out. Dr. Mario through to Young Link was easy, and Ganondorf. Oh, I love Ganon. So he's the one I've got the highest score with in a home run contest of almost 900, so I, I, I'm pretty sure 900's above 300. Uh, I'd, I'd say he passes. Mewtwo, I'm pretty sure wouldn't be that hard, but I, while trialing and erroring, if that's even a word, I found this random setup which makes the sandbag just go flying in the air, and then you have to wait for it to fall down, and I just really wanted to hit it that way, and I did. It was pretty epic. Roy is also top tier for home run contests because his neutral B is so overpowered, as in it has so much knockback, so no problem there. Crom through to Meta Knight was easy. Now Pit was kind of a pain. I don't really remember why he was so hard, I just think his smash attacks weren't that strong and his tilts weren't convenient at all. His side B took too long, his down B's a reflect. It just took a while to utilize his attacks to get it to enough percent to reach 300 kilometers. But then once I got a good rhythm with him, I could do the same thing with Dark Pit and get almost the same results. Zero Suit Samus through to Ike was easy. Pokemon Trainer, I utilized it with Charizard just because he's so strong. Diddy Kong and Lucas were no problem. And then comes Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. I have never hated him so much. Now Sonic, great character. Sonic, great games. Sonic, quite a fun character to play in Smash Bros. Sonic in Home Run Contest? Oh my, no, just no. Now I don't know if it's just because I'm bad at Home Run Contest, but he was just no. I tried so many times with him and just couldn't get to 300%. I'd say I spent almost an hour and a half just trying different things, different moves, different setups, and nothing would work. And then out of nowhere, I just, I just found something that worked. After an hour and a half of trying, I finally achieved 300 kilometers with this setup. Oh, I was so glad that was over. King DDD was easy. And then Olimar, I thought he was going to be really hard to do because I, I just I just didn't think he would do it. However, he started off with the purple Pikmin and I'm not exactly sure what the purple Pikmin does, but I think they're pretty powerful because he racked up damage pretty quickly. Then comes Lucario. 
You know what, I'm going to talk about him at the end, for reasons. Rob through Wolf was easy. Villager I was pretty happy with because you can just drop falling balls onto the sandbag's head repeatedly and it seemed to rack up quite a good amount of damage. Mega Man threw to Rosalina and Luma was easy. Little Mac I had no troubles with because he's just so strong. And then Greninja all the way through to Bayonetta. They, they were just all really easy, I didn't have any problems with them. Inkling took a little while to manage to get 300 kilometers, but using the bombs and just well-timed attacks, it all worked out pretty easily. Ridley, I made sure to use the fireballs a lot, they seemed to rack up damage nicely. I don't know if that's the best way, but that's how I did it. Simon and Richter were fun, because they basically had a PK fire with their down B, and then you could smash attack while you're waiting for it to recharge. And the fire potions also prevented it from being knocked back after the smash attacks, which made it really convenient. King K. Rule was no problem. Isabel I thought was going to be a pain, just because she seems like a, just a little dog. She's just a dog, but her smash attacks were surprisingly strong. Incineroar was no problem. Prana Plant was pretty easy, because with a side B, it just... The poison just deals damage so fast. Joker was easy because he started with Arsene, making his uh, damage be a lot higher than normal. The hero I found pretty interesting because his down B, uh, it wasn't randomized. There was only four options. It didn't give you all like the 20 options he has. And I was really sad. I wanted to kamikaze it. But his his attacks are just so strong it still wasn't a problem at all. Banjo-Kazooie was a little difficult, but I managed to rack up the last bit of damage by using a grenade, uh, which also knocked it back, allowing me to hit it with the tip. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to mention, hitting the sandbag with the tip of the bat is honestly the key to getting high, high results. Like, if you're right next to it and hit it, it does so much less than hitting it with the tipper. Me, Brawler, and Sword Fighter were easy, and then last of all, Sans. Wait, what? You guys call it me Gunner? No, it's, it's not its name, it's Sand. And yeah, he wasn't too bad, took a little while, but that's probably just because I had bad moves uh, put on him. And there you go, everyone reached 300 kilometers in home run contest. I completed the challenge. Wait, hold up, I missed someone. Oh yes, Lucario. I, I honestly have never hated Lucario so much, and I love Lucario as a Pokemon, but this just made me lose so much respect for him. Not as a Pokemon, but as a fighter in Smash Bros. Because Lucario is just such a sick Pokemon. Like, I don't know anyone who doesn't like Lucario. But he doesn't start with aura. You can't gain more aura. He's so weak. I spent around two and a half hours grinding and grinding, trying to get as much damage in the 10 seconds to reach 300 kilometers and nothing. I just couldn't do it. It was the most painful thing I've ever done in Home Run Contest. And I thought Sonic was bad, but at least I got 300 kilometers with Sonic. But Lucario, it just didn't happen. Now the truth is, Lucario can get 300 kilometers. I just can't do it. There is a Reddit video online of someone doing it with like 320 or 370, can't remember. And just shout outs to that guy or girl who did that because, wow, that's insane. I can't do that. It was fine at the beginning until they started picking up the bat and throwing it and, oh, I just can't do that. I'm not that good at Smash Bros. But there you go, people. That proves it. It is possible to reach 300 kilometers with every character. And I did it with every character minus Lucario, and I'm pretty happy with that. Now, if you want to know if Terry Bogard or Steve from Minecraft can hit 300 kilometers, you just have to wait for them to release. Anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you subscribe to Meme Tendo because that's back. Watch some of my other videos, which don't have as much views. That'll be awesome. And have a great day.